Tonight, catch the comedy people are calling refreshing. <laughs> and one that fans of Parks and Rec will love. It sounds pretty awesome. Welcome to Flash, all new next on Fox. Three for Dale, three for Austin, and three for installments of Welcome to Flatch on Fox. So let's get into it. So if we're if we're really gonna go there, you know, while we're at it, that episode, hold on, let me get in, let me get in position. That episode was intimidating like that guy, Ralph Dale Earnhardt Sr., the driver of the number three GM Goodrich Service Plus Chevrolet Monte Carlo for Richard Childress Racing because it was the number, it was the third installment of this crazy ass documentary. It's so heartwarming, but also funny as fuck. And if you really want to talk about, you know, new generation, it's. Austin fucking Dillon, the number three Dow Bass Pro Shops, ambient, no, the number three Dow Bass, I'm thinking of the old, old, or one of the older Atlanta race names, the number three Dow Bass Pro Shops Chevrolet Camaro for Richard Childress Racing, 2018 Daytona 500 winner, 2017 Coke 600 winner, 2020 winner of the Samsung Radio Shack 500, which was the diecast I, I just showed to the whole cast and crew of who was in tonight's episode, and especially you, Miss Taylor Ortega and Chelsea Holmes, two of my ultimate favorite actresses because of this show. I was already a huge Taylor Ortega fan. She was already one of my favorites, but she was up there now with two, now it's like two people from the Kim Possible alumni that are a part of my ultimate favorite actresses list. Taylor Ortega, she go, Erica Thamboni, but now this show has made, you know, Taylor qualify for that, for, to, to that list up next to Erica. So Erica, you're being tagged in this. Bonnie Rockwaller, your Bonnie is still loved over the original Bonnie from the uh, animated Kim Possible. And Chelsea Holmes, you're on one of the newbies on my list. You're, you and Ariana Mulcara from Warped, and I'm going to tag her in this too, because on my Warped reaction video earlier tonight was basically half a Ariana Mulcara love fest, and I'm going to DM it to her before I share that with the rest of the cast and crew of Warped. But anyway, let's, let's, enough talking about act love fest for actresses from me. Let's get into this episode. So. A lot of crazy shit went down. I'm going to start with the best fucking part. The ending, you know, the dance off with my two favorites. Why is it when I, I, when I pick a favorite character that's a girl, it's either they're either the bad guy, they're either the bad guy or they're always fighting, whether they're good or bad or both, you know. If one's good, one's bad, you know, both are good, both are bad. They're always fucking fighting. I don't fucking know. But anyway, that was the end. <laughs> For, you know, that, you know, Nadine, not Nadine. Um, Taylor, what the fuck? God, brain fucking fart. God damn. Chelsea, please don't fucking kill me for forgetting. I swear to fucking God, I'm not doing a little standby. I'm in a fucking rush to get the hell upstairs and take a, you know, get some rest, you know, drink some Coke and shit. You're going to fucking kill me, aren't you? You're going to fucking... Think, Mark. Think, think, think. What the fuck is Chelsea's... Kelly! Oh, my God. And there goes... Not the fucking bottle that just went hit the floor like Michael McDonald. So, therefore... Kelly was walking out of Father Joe's office. Um, I'll get that fucking bottle later after I'm done recording this. Kelly was coming out of Father Joe's office, you know, talking with, um, now I'm forgetting Sam Straley's here. Oh, Shrub, Shrub. Okay, okay, Sam Straley and, and Chelsea, my ultimate favorites, Kelly, um, oh, Chelsea are going to be pissed off at me for forgetting their name. It's still a new show, so I'm learning, still learning all the names outside of Taylor Ortega. That's the only one I know. But, like, Kelly and Shrub were walking out of Father Joe's office, and, you know, Kelly was, like, saying, man, Father Joe was right. It looked like everything was going according to plan. But, of course, when she heard Nadine's voice, she got this huge, fierce of anger in her body language, and you went storming in there. And then... And Nadine's dance class all of a sudden turned into the fucking Jerry Springer show. Because you know damn well if I was on the show as an 
character, even if it meant I had to play a fictional version of myself, that was either um, Kelly's love interest or Nadine's love interest. I wouldn't even be playing Peacemaker or trying to stick up for, like, whoever my love interest between the two women is in that room, whether it was Kelly or Nadine, you know, considering if I ever write a Welcome to Flash fanfic, you know damn well either Nadine or Kelly is going to be my love interest. And if I had to pick one, and I would have to be... Uh, Nadine, because I've known Taylor Ortega for a long ass time since my 25th birthday in 2019 when Kim Possible was released when she became the better she goes than Nicole Sullivan. But I would have been in there screaming, Jerry, 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 and doing that ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that's what I do every time I see a fight, whether it's a, a, a verbal fight or a physical fight. The physical fights are more fun because they're just beating the shit out of each other and clocking everybody like Booty Barker from The Price is Right. <laughs> And then after um, Shrub and Dylan had to break it up, that's when we got the Bruce Bowen song. Here's Bowen for three and airball. Go Spurs, go. <laughs> Number 12, yeah. I have song nicknames for titles for certain songs. And so the one for I Got the Power is the... It, uh, Whatever the fuck that song is, because it was in Bruce Almighty. That's why I came up with this nickname. Because remember that that tra that that old trailer for that movie from when I was little, where the guy, Kyle character walks down the street going like this and goes, and then when the singer goes, "I got the power," he lip syncs it like this, and then turns like that, and here goes the fire hydrant exploding, water going everywhere. So that's why I call it the Bruce Bowen song. <laughs> I just have these song nicknames just to be silly. <laughs> so I was going crazy the whole time because two of my favorite characters were duking it out and one of my nickname title songs was playing. This one was the Bruce Bowen song. I, was, I could not stop cracking up. I don't get why all my favorite characters are either against each other or are always fucking bad. We saw this with Brittany on the big, another Fox show, The Big Leap with Anna Grace Barlow. Now we're seeing it with Nadine in, in um, another Fox show. Another two Fox shows, two favorite characters, and they're both fucking bad. You know, bad, bad character. You know, like mean spirited characters. I'm not saying they're like bad characters, like the you know, you know, the, how they're, like they're how you know how you know bad characters in general. Like they're just they're just mean spirited. But Nadine, of course, it's expected for Taylor Ortega because she played an even more mean spirited version of Nadine named Shigo. So of course, that's expected, but. I expected a lot better out of Nadine than she got. <laughs> they were really going at it. And <laughs> stuff like this is why I love Kelly. I mean, Kelly and, of course, Chelsea Holmes with all my whole heart. So, anyway, so, um, reason number one. She knows how to shake her bonbon like Ricky Martin, except this was no bonbon shaking night. She was doing the Michael Waltrip ass shake during that practice outside. And then she did what's in the mail today. Yeah, my grandmother and I made that shit up like Jamie McMurray when I was little. I used to watch Bear in the Big Blue House when I was a kid. Oh my god, we made that because Bear actually did that in an episode where he sung the song What's in the Mail Today and he was doing that. That's how I came up with it. So every time someone does does this, I say I call it What's in the Mail Today just to be silly. And then we had um Cheryl getting hurt because Nadine was trying to sabotage Kelly, but I accidentally sabotaged Cheryl instead. Now Cheryl has a bum ankle and my God, this is probably the funniest episode I've ever seen of the show so far. <laughs> and, you know, therefore, um, therefore, even Dylan turned against his own wife. And that made Nadine even more mad than she already was. And the fact that she he was making friends with Kelly and I was on her side as she was walking out victorious. And as much as I love Nadine as my favorite character, I can't forgive her for being a sore loser when Kelly screamed out, she won, she won. Well, it looked like she did because that's what usually happens in a situation like that in these kind of shows. Where even if, they're, if, if it's not officially announced, you know you won when you outsmarted that person who challenged you. And then she got all pissed and decided to take her loss out on her own husband. And here's Mandy handing him, like, breakup papers as a poor... Well, no, not breakup papers. They're husband and wife. But, like, like many divorce papers if they ever, if they ever break up and divorce. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, Shrub's incident 
Well, first, before I get into that, so, that old fart in the shoe store must have gotten his taint bruised in the fucking beginning. And... Uh, let's, oh yeah, um, shrub scenario, I saw the map buying girl, the uncredited one, I recognized her without having to look, look, like, look, look, look on the internet movie database, Taylor Grace Button, so I got your, I got your, I got your capture, Taylor Grace, I got your capture, so I'm big, I'm just became a big fan because of this, so I saw you, even if you didn't have a talking scene, which sadly you didn't, I saw young, young Nadine, Eva Smiley, I saw you, I got your capture, but the angry girls and the angry guy, <laughs> that was probably the second funniest part behind the Bruce Bowen song scene. Where, oh my God. The fact that the one played by Gr Gabriella Clea grabbed Shrub's shirt and got in his face. That was the funniest shit I've ever seen when it comes to angry people on TV at any of my favorite shows. <laughs> and I thought the fact that, you know, Taylor, the, the, the other Taylor that played the other angry girl... I mean, I, I try to remember her last name, but I don't feel like looking. I, I'm in a rush to make this whole video without any additional clips. Um, the Taylor that played the other angry girl, I thought it was kind of cute when she was angry. <laughs> but yeah, but when Jamal, the guy, Jason Jamal was the angry guy. I thought that was fucking beast. I'm hilar like, hilariously beast. You're like, sometimes when a guy gets angry, to me, that's just hilariously beast. When a girl gets angry, so depending on who it is, depending on how beautiful or cute she is, I think it's kind of cute when they're angry. So, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, we got to see some angry people tonight. And they were treating Father Ra Father Ramos, you know, Promised Land on ABC. But Father Joe, they were treating Father Joe like he was the fucking popo. And then we Len made his return tonight. William Tokarski is an amazing, is a nice old man. He was he's a really nice, genuine, sweet gentleman. But unfortunately, the same cannot be said about his Len character. He's a grumpy old fart. He's like a like Len is like a poor man's Bob Vila, a poor you know an old fart who's poor. But William Tokarski is a great guy in real life. So that's pretty much all to it. <laughs> There's really not much to talk about app other than those things because Welcome to Flash is a very fast paced show. And I, I would, Mandy's laugh though at, you know, you no, know, Kelly's dancing when she was doing Michael Waltrip ass shakes and, um, the uh, what's in the mail today. It sounded like Saddam Hussein's adopted pet, the hyena with the way she was laughing. And then of course we've got to mention, you know, not only was Kelly smacking Nadine's butt like Bobby Labonte doing a little double butt smack with the both hands, but around the, around the, a few minutes around that, somewhere around that point, Nadine also did Sun Ming Ming's kick. It would have been more fitting after Sun Ming Ming's kick, like, um, Kelly did the Yao Yao jump. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little ener energetic in tonight's reaction video because after all, it's the Dale Senior Austin Dillon installment, meaning the third installment. Three for Dale, three for Austin. 98, nine, tw and tw eight, tw 1998 and 2018, they total 500 winners in the number three Chevrolet, Monte Carlo, and Camaro for Richard Childress Racing. But time to get the fuck out of here and go upstairs to the room and get some rest and get some more soda into our body so i will see you all tomorrow for when we um when the spurs do round one versus the king of pissing it up and before you ask no there's not going to be a reaction video to that because i'm waiting till sunday when we do round two excuse me after the pontiac excitement 400 at richmond to like do a like I, blazer spurs review combined with the pontiac excitement 400 and then, you know, tomorrow my mom and I are going out for lunch in the middle of the day. So maybe after I'm done catching up on side hustle, maybe before I catch up on side hustle, since I'll have plenty of time all day, I will upload that. Because I might say, well, mom, my mom deserves a, me, and her, me and her time. And maybe we'll do a YouTube video of it. I think it would be great because we did a target run after dark uh, last, uh, like, middle of summer. If you want to check that out, like Kevin LePage. For the YouTube version of this video, I'll put the link in the description if you want to check that shit out, like Kevin LePage. Target run after dark with mom. So that's where mom and I are going to do a YouTube video. We did a Krispy Kreme run video, but I'm, I'm not going to put that in the description because I'm too fucking lazy. But... Um, 
I'm busy. So therefore, um, and also just so you're aware, I stand corrected. I was mistaken. The Warp season one finale tonight was the Ryan Newman and Ty Dillon installment. It was not the Brett Bodine and Ryan Newman installment. So my apologies. I managed to fix the YouTube title before, um, I, you know, I, I published it, but I was saying Brett Bodine and Ryan Newman the whole thing. I was so caught up in the heat of the moment how good the finale was. So my apologies. So don't ignore the fact that I said Bodine and Newman because it was actually Newman and Dylan. So therefore, I ignore that. So <laughs> lunch lunch with mom tomorrow and the Spurs versus King of Pissing It Up at, at, afterwards. Then haircut video. Hardy's 250 Bush Race. You know, I'll do the, I'll do at, like, Record and edit the, or record the haircut video and edit it, you know, during, maybe during the, right well, no, record the haircut video, then, you know, you know, you know, I'll, yeah, I'm, you know, before, you know, I'm trying to figure this out. So tomorrow, Saturday, I'll do the haircut video. And then after lunch, you know, even if I have to miss the first few laps of the bush race, I'll just recap whatever I see, you know, I'm not probably not going to be able to watch the, the first part of it. You know, I'm going to come home, shave, you know, finish recording that, and then maybe watch the Bush race, you know, watch the remaining of Bush race. Then I might see that's left once I finally tune in, because probably might, I might not tune in right away. And then, you know, record my reaction video to that, and then upload that here to YouTube. And then ed edit the haircut video, and then upload the upload that. And then as for the shows I'm catching up on, tomorrow after the video with my mom, I will do be catching up on Side Hustle before the game begins the king of pissing it up. And we'll be doing a reaction video on that, which I think is the Johnny Benson and Brett Bodine installment for that. I was thinking about Side Hustle. Oh, I wasn't thinking about Side Hustle at all. I was, I was like hallucinating when I said Bodine and Newman for Ward. But for Side Hustle, this is going to be Benson and Bodine. For so Warped, it was Newman Dillon. So don't get it mixed up. And tonight for Flash, it was like Dillon slash Earnhardt. Austin uh, Austin 3, tied 13, even though Ty's 42 now. So it's going to take a while for me to get used to that. But therefore, there'll be two videos tomorrow. Um, lunch date with mom and side hustle reaction video to the Johnny Benson Brett Bodine installment. Then the haircut video and the NASCAR Bush Series Hardy's 250 review. Also, along with um, my reaction video to A Million Little Things, which I think, yeah, I was not hallucinating when I was talking about Warped reaction. I was thinking about A Million Little Things. So the real Bodine Newman installment, no, the, I can't get my fucking numbers right. I already saw the Brett Bodine install me A Million Little Things. So Saturday after the Bush race and I'm uploading the other, done uploading the other videos, I'll be catching up on the. On the new Menti Dylan installments of a million little things on my DVR and do a reaction video to that. And then Sunday, Pontiac Excitement 400 and then Spurs versus King of Pissing It Up round two. Reaction video combining that race and the two men with the King of Pissing It Up. I need to get the fuck out of here. I can't fucking talk straight to the end of end this video to save my goddamn life. So have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it. It ain't for the weak. Goddamn be you. You have to try harder to do less. You can't deport a dream. So take care, everyone. Good night. I'm sorry that I was I was hallucinating my speech tonight, but for Welcome to Flash, guys, you know, um, you know, Chelsea and Taylor and the whole rest of the crew. See you all next Thursday for the Mike Skinner installment. To everybody else out there, I will see you all for the next several videos the next next three days. So see you later, everyone.